Welcome to Lee WTV. Today, we'd like you to join us for lunch. We have a special dish made from fresh vegetables from our garden. We're having eggplant with rice and ground bison. Plus, we have a special soup that's made from butternut squash blossoms and greens. Every year we plant eggplant in the garden because it's especially good for your brain health, your heart, and it's also said to lower your risk of getting cancer. Every July we go to Lowe's and we get the seedlings for our vegetables and we plant them. We got a good crop this year. Today we're having ground bison and eggplant. Of course, the ground bison didn't come from our garden, just the eggplant. The eggplant, after you've cleaned it, you slice it, as you see here, and then soak it in water. For the ground bison, you're going to be cooking it with just a little bit of ground ginger, garlic, and a pinch of salt. In cooking the bison, First, you put just a little bit of olive oil in the pan, get that warmed up, and then add the bison and brown it, as you see here. Now, you put the eggplant in with the bison, and you're going to blend it. We like to use a chopstick because that won't do any damage to the nonstick surface of the frying pan. You're also going to add about a third of a cup of water and cover it. Then you're going to cook it for just a little while after you've covered it. And once you check it from time to time, stir it, and as it looks like it's getting soft, add a little bit of chopped onion if you'd like. Chopped green onion would be good. If you want to make it a little spicier, you can add anything that you want, some pepper or something like that as well. And there you go. We hope you'll give this a try, and in the comment section below, let us know how you made out. Enjoy! Now, we'd just like to take a walk around our garden, which is doing very well this year. We are in Virginia, and we've had quite a bit of rain lately, so our flowers and our vegetables are doing very well this year. Thanks for joining us today. We hope that before you leave, you'll like, share, and subscribe so that you won't miss a single recipe in the future. Thanks again. Bye for now.